Hey everyone, it's Teresa and I have some super easy Easter DIYs. Let's jump in. All right, I have this little, I want to say it's probably like a five by five block from Michael's that I went ahead and just did a really quick stain on with the folk art wood tint in walnut. And now I have my brand new Chuck Couture transfer. This is part of like a, a C size transfer. So it's a lot bigger than this, but it's got a bunch of little ones that are cut apart and they're absolutely adorable. I'll have it linked for you below in my cart link. And we're gonna keep it pretty simple today. I am just going in with some white paste and I'm just gonna glob it all over and work it all the way through the screen make sure you get every last little bit of it and then dun, 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 we're just going to peel it on back this is real time so this is how slow you have to peel it not have to but you know what i mean and once we are done peeling it back it'll be mostly finished i know guys i i, I really wanted to reach for the antique wax but i didn't i restrained myself i am taking this really cute ribbon though this is from the Dollar Tree. I got it last year. I imagine you could probably find it this year. However, I, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't seen it yet. That doesn't mean anything, but it's adorable, right? It's got carrots. How cute is that? Um, I'm just taking some like double-sided tapey glue stuff. I don't even know what it is. Got it from the you know craft section in the Dollar Tree as well. And I wanted to, I was like, well, I don't want to glue it to the back. What if I want to take it off and switch it out for something else? I don't know. So I am then just going to give myself a really simple little shoestring bow and probably spend roughly five minutes after I hit the end button on the filming to get it fluffed up right and sized right and... <laughs> I'm going to dovetail the ends and I did it the right way. A lot of times I mess it up and I do it the wrong way, <laughs> but we just kind of, I just kind of fluff it up, get it all right and make it a lot smaller than what it is right here, which you'll see right here. Super cute. Hop to it. Little bunnies. Bunnies are adorable. And now of course we have to do some carrots for our bunnies to hop to it. Um, and it's so funny, I was working on this project and I was like, you know, I think I've done something very similar in the past, but it's okay. So I have a half of a canvas bag. I used the other front half for something else once. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make my own canvas carrots. So cute. I think I bought some last year from um, Target, the dollar spot at Target, but, and I still have them, but I figure why not? Why not make my own? So I'm going to take half of the canvas bag and then I'm going to take another half of, well, half of a half of a half. I don't know. You guys will have to tell me. <laughs> Anyways, a small scrap of canvas and I'm just going to kind of fold it in place. And there's really not a right or wrong way to do it. You just kind of make it into a triangular shape. And see, I was like, well, let me fold it here. Then I'm going to fold it here. And you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Basically, the idea is just to make it into a triangle, putting some hot glue in there to obviously hold it all together. And you don't want any spots making like a hole because we're going to stuff our carrot. Uh, so it's, and I'll show you another one in just a minute. I'm not doing a very good job of like explaining where I'm making my folds because I didn't even remember it from one carrot to the next. Each, I make, I end up making three of them and they're all different, but it's really no wrong way to do it. They don't have to be the same because hello, no carrot is identical, right? Unless they're like the GM, unless they're like genetically modified carrots. Um, I don't know, guys. Are they? Are genetically modified carrots going to be always the same? Probably not. But anyways, like I said, I'm going to make another one. This one seems a little more streamlined than the first one. So fold a corner up, fold a corner over. I mean, like I said, there's there's not really a wrong way to do it. I just wanted to show you the two different ones that I ended up doing. I kind of fold it over before I add my glue just to make sure that it's going to make some sense. And then on this one, I will just end up tucking in that little corner or you can cut it. Do what you want. Make your carrots. Have fun with it. Now that I've got all my carrots, see, I've got three of them. I've already stuffed them with a little bit of polyfill that I promptly stole from a previous project. And now I've got some green raffia that I believe I got around fall time. 
this stuff was giving me some fits, but it's okay. We're going to make it work. And I take an extra little piece of raffia and kind of try to hot glue them all together. I thought it would be a lot easier making these little carrots if I had my raffia stem kind of already formed. If you kind of get what I'm saying there. Just because if you're obviously shoving, you know, loose raffia in there, it's going to go everywhere. Raffia tends to do that, at least for me. It's, it's very misbehaving. Uh, so I'll add some hot glue just to kind of keep it all in place and then I'll hot glue my little carrot all together and make it as cute as can be. Now, when I was done, I was like, okay, maybe I should leave it. Then I was like, you know what? If I leave this, it is going to look like a turnip. It doesn't look like a carrot at all. So I'm going to take some fabric paint. This one is from Arteza and it's kind of like a mustardy yellow reddish orange color and black. I thought it needed a little bit of darkening so I added the black. If you have brown that'll work too. And I'm just going to take a stippling brush, kind of dry, do a little bit more than a dry brush, and make my carrot look a little bit more like a carrot and not a turnip. I mean bunnies like turnips as well, however it's not very easterly. I've got this little gold wire basket from the Dollar Tree and I just did a quick little spray paint job of it with some black spray paint, black matte spray paint. It works like a charm and I definitely made a basket um, last year. I want to say probably with the square basket <laughs> and I'm having a little bit of problem with my star bond glue. So I switched to the other one I have. I have two different ones. One is thicker, one is less thick. So anyways, I put it down on to this Dollar Tree candle holder and then I was like, you know what? It is definitely not going to stick very well. There's not a lot of areas that it's actually touching anything. So then I'm going to take that same star bond glue and start to kind of do it over the wire, especially on the bottom part. You're not going to see it because as you see here, we've added a little bit of grass and our adorable carrots. It's just so cute. These are so cute projects. Um, so on to the next one. These were some wood. They were plain wood. I've already done a coat of the plaster colored chalk paint and the wood tint. The oh, those the oh, other way. <laughs> the wood tint on the stand and the chalk paint on the egg. And then your big surprise. I know you're shocked. I'm going to go in with some antique wax. You know you couldn't go through the whole video without seeing it. And I'm just going to do a little bit of a brushing on all of my eggs. I do end up with a total of six, six. Yes, I had to look at it. Six eggs. And I do that with every single one of them. There they all are. And now I have some lettering that I printed off of my Cricut. This is actually the lettering is called the skinny from Defont. And I trimmed, I, you know, I, did all the weeding and everything and then I was like you know what it's just going to be as easy as can be to put it right on the egg without the transfer tape and so it's kind of like the exact same way you would apply it if you had stickers. Sticker letters would work just fine uh, or the rub on transfer ones Dollar Tree actually makes both. I had some but I only had gold and that just wasn't going to work with me today. But anyways once I'm done struggling with them here they are again super cute my son told me like we can try to see what we can spell with this i said yeah you go ahead <laughs> and yet another item from dollar tree this is almost 100 percent dollar tree today and another one again i'm taking the pail and this little bottle cap kind of thing from dollar tree and i'm going to just glue them together using my star bond glue and i'm trying to make this one work it's like i said it's just not interested in coming out. I I must not have put the lid back on it one time. Anyways, they do come with a new uh, cap in case this happens. And I just found it today, actually. So I'll be switching that out for a new cap so I don't continue to have this problem. And I'm just going to put it along on the rim. You don't have to use Starbond. You can use super glue or you could use the um, E6000, I think is what it's called. And it'll work just as well. I use the Starbond because it's what I have and it's what I like. And then I'll spray on the little accelerator and I'm going to put it on. And I did it as the bottle cap on the bottom and the pail on the top, just because that was going to be easier for me to line it up to at least be quasi sort of kind of in the middle. Once that's done, I've got this really cute little grapevine wreath. I want to say this one came from Hobby Lobby. I can't remember. I've had them in my stash for a while, but 
if you don't have them, it's not even necessary. And then I'm going to break out some of the Spanish moss and just put it right there in the middle. And if you couldn't guess, we're making a little nest. I should do birds. I need to find some little wood birds. That would be adorable. Anyways, I'm just going to add a couple of the little speckled eggs. You can paint them. You can leave them like they are. And there it is. So like I said, super simple, easy projects today to get you kind of going on your Easter vibes. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to check out all my links down below. And I will see you next time.